stage two of this painting. The sky has dried and I've put some more tape. Apologies, it is my washi tape where I've got lots of, but I do have some masking tape coming. But that's to help me get a nice line for my ocean. As I said in video one, we may come back on video four to finalise any highlights of the sky. But I'm trying not to overwork it. This time on the painting, we are going to see how we bring in the ocean here and go back up. Again, it's not going to replicate that. I'm just showing you how it's going to go. So I'm not going to use any washi tape for this part. But I know that it starts just above um a third it's not halfway it's just a little bit down and it's going to taper in a little bit we're going to go around and we're going to taper it up here and i'm going to do that with my ultramarine blue so the darker one at the back and then we're going to blend it through and then i'm going to have some of the sky so that's this um phthalo blue in little patches to represent those darker areas there and then we'll, we'll blend through some of the turquoise into the front area here. But there'll also be some of the beach. But we're not going to bring the beach in uh, just yet. That's going to be on the next video. You will also see me, when I've done that, bring in my mountains. Yes, I will. I'm just thinking out loud. Would I do my mountains now or will I do it at the end? Let me put the ocean in, see how I feel. I might go sky, which I've done, ocean, and then beach, and then come and do the details like the, um, the little hills as we go. But I'm Sharon, I'm digressing, I'm talking out loud. This is to help for people that are not necessarily confident, or proficient, or want to understand how I break down my compositions. And at the side... As always, I've got my art journal to put in any leftover paints there for a beautiful backdrop for an up-and-coming art journal. Let's go on with this. I thought I was recording then. I do apologise. I have put my washi tape on. I've just gone and put a thin line of my ultramarine blue across there. But it's a bit too bright and vibrant. I want it a little bit more dark and in keeping with the sky. So I'm going to now put a little bit of phthalo glue to it. If I wanted to mute it a little bit more, I could add a little bit of, I think, Payne's Grey in there, but I'm all right. But this, this is definitely going to lighten up, but lighten up more to a lighter blue through to the greens of the turquoise. But I think this colour is going to give me more what I'm looking for. I wanted that really deep, but thin line in the horizon. I just hope that's not got under the washi tape to my sky. Okay, I'm liking that a little bit more. That's the beauty of painting. You mix it up. You need to make sure that it is dry the sky before you do this. I like to do it just because it saves a lot of headache. You can do it freehand, but because I'm not working on an easel, uh, I'm going to be not quite where it should be with my angles, so the washi tape is just going to help guide me now. I know this area here is going to be a lot lighter. It's going to have a very, very thin horizon line. So I'm going to start to bring through now maybe a little bit more of this with some white and then transition it to cobalt blue. So I'm going to use my move my ultramarine away because I'm not really going to use much of that for this piece. It's going to be really phthalo blue, titanium white, Cobalt blue, let that dry, and then come over with some turquoises of different shades. All right, let's start to bring a little bit of lightness. I'm going to try and keep the, the edge right near the washi tape. Dark. And then slowly lighten... Uh, as we come down but I want that depth to look there and if I'm looking at my reference picture that's up here it is quite lighter this side I'm gonna keep blending that with a little bit of white I'm not I don't want it to be a blank though 
and get some streaks of light and dark in there, I'll be very happy. But I don't want these dark to come too much forward. That's why I'm transitioning it a little bit. But I don't want it to go as light as I've just made it there. <laughs> and this is where we do the dance with the paint. Wet on wet is good for the blending. And keep standing back and having a little look if you're happy with how that is. And then we can start to face through some turquoise. I'm wondering what's going to happen if I add a little bit of the cobalt blue from a comparison point of view. So I might just try that a little bit. And again, if it doesn't work how I want it, I'll leave it and then I will put that into my book. Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not a necessary lover of that. But we'll add a little bit for a difference to make it look like a, a water's churning a little bit. Just letting your brush drag it a little bit will add a little bit of that feel that the sky is reflecting in it. So I think my horizon's going to be okay. I'm going to try and bring in a little bit more um, just a little bit more phalo. Bring the edge just darker there. It helps the illusion that it's not flat. All right, let's see if the washi tape has done its stuff. And let's peel that. white there which I'll fix up later but overall I'm liking that what I am going to do now is just scuff some slightly darker patches of this tiny little areas And again, this is not meant to be exactly identical to where it is that we're seeing there. Just as a guide, but it's going to help us understand a little bit and hopefully give us a little contrast for dark spots, light spots, coral. Who knows? Yeah, just waffling, Sharon. I'm not wanting it to look like waves, that's the thing. That's not what you want to happen, Sharon. Glad it was on here and not the floor. Uh oh. Oh well, when that dries, this sand will cover it. Now, I just need this to dry before we start. Bringing in uh, happy little accidents. Do not want it to look like a wave, so I'm just uh, flattening it out. A little bit of water just to blend through. Okay, time for a sip of tea. Should really put my blue and put the rest of my blue that I've got just into my journal. Okay, I'm going to put a bit of turquoise on my pad now and just map out where the ocean is going to come to. And this is going to be first stage, so it's going to be the base. We can come back and we can add more emotion as we go back through it on. Layer two. Just put my turquoise out and some white on my pad. 
blend some of that together. Just think about so that half, it's under there. It's gonna come under. And again, it doesn't have to be the baton where it's gonna be, but that's gonna be the base of the ocean. Try to leave some of those blue spots in between. Phalo blended in. Building up that texture and trying to get these stupid little bits of canvas that are coming through.
down to a slightly smaller brush now. I'm happy with how it's coming along. I just want to control uh, the area space now. So I'm going to go down, rinse my brush off. I've not walked, used that one and go down. But I think there's some life coming into the ocean there. I still want it to look flat, but I want there to be life. Life, I tell you, life. I'm going down to a number 14 brush now, like right. so. And I'm just going to come back and put a little bit of dark areas here and then do a little grading of the darker turquoise in the lighter turquoise in similar flows to where the ocean's coming in. But the sand will come back into that area, so don't put too much detail here. Uh, yeah, it is going to pull back. Uh, I overcommitted, but that's okay. It's a little bit of turquoise, a little phthalo blue and a little bit of white. Try not to have a pattern. Try not to make it look like the waves. Too greeny now. A bit too greeny as opposed to bluey. And if I've overcommitted, I'm just going to come back over with the green again. The turquoise. Oh. Way blue. So we're getting some of that back now. Take it in a bit lighter. Not trying to make it a light wave, but just little bits of ripples.
Okay, what I am going to do is, I think, just wet my big brush now and just go over it to try and smooth it out again. Too much where we come at it, bring that back. Okay, so I'll rinse that brush out and watch my wash my big brush. I'm just gonna give it a slight wet and then try and flatten out a little bit without too much. So dip my brush in. stage so we are going to leave this if you want to see this continue we're going to now on the next stage video we're going to bring the sand area into the ocean bring back the ocean a little bit and what we're going to do then is finish the canvas but come back for the other one we're going to come and add some life into all areas so I hope you come back and see how this next stage turns out but thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome i don't have an easel so i can't get you a better angle at this stage however in a couple of days i should have an easel so it should make tutorials easier but hopefully in real time you can paint along with me and again make it your own it doesn't have to be identical don't worry if it doesn't look right it when you go back and add that second layer um, or the details is what's going to bring it alive but so far so good and i think there's some nice energy in that ocean let me know what you think. Bye-bye. It's a little bit hard to show you with the reflection, but you can see depth. You can see how that's now blending into the sky. Just got to touch up that little bit of sky there. But it looks like that ocean's alive and there's movement, and I can definitely see depth. Maybe I'm tripping out. But what you will see is me use the last little bit of uh, paint I've got in here for a page that I'm going to use in my art journal.